1965, a man by the name of Sherman Poppin tied two skis together in order to surf down a snowy hill. He called it snurfing. Yes, snurfing as in snow plus surfing. A terrible name aside, this was the beginning of modern day snowboarding. Needless to say, this hybrid sport caught on and even became recognized by the Olympics in 1998. Today's snowboarders are some of the most talented and fearless athletes around. I'm Dylan Everett here in beautiful Aspen, Colorado at the Winter X Games, and I'm going to talk to some of these Winter Warriors and find out what it takes to become a champion snurfer. I mean, snowboarder. Luke Mitrani is a snowboarder from Mammoth Lakes, California. How old were you when you started, Luke, and what was it about the sport that sort of captivated you? You know, I was probably about seven years old, I would say, and uh, I just thought it looked cool. It looked like a fun time. All the snowboarders back in Vermont looked like they were having, having fun, so me and my brother just want to do what other people were doing, and it was a blast, and it still is. I love snowboarding. Louis Vito was a snowboarder from Bellefontaine, Ohio, and a personal hero of mine. What are some traits that someone would need in order to uh, compete in a sport like yours? Um, you can't be afraid to take slams. Uh, you can't be afraid to, um, you know, kind of scare yourself a bit, you know, you you got to really push it yourself, you know, and, you know, push your comfort zone, but have fun, it's all about having fun, you know, get a good crew of friends and just and just go right around and enjoy wintertime. Mark McMorris is a snowboarder from Regina, Saskatchewan. What advice would you have for some of the viewers at home who would maybe want to do what you do someday? Um, make sure you don't take it too serious, make sure you're having fun, and make sure it's something you love and push yourself to be the best you can at it. Sebastian Touton, aka Seb Toots, is a snowboarder from Montreal, Quebec. What is the best part of being a pro snowboarder? The best part is probably traveling, you know, I'm, I'm 19 years old and I travel so much, you know, so many like older people would love to travel as much as I can and then it's the best job ever. Don't go anywhere, there's plenty more Winter X Games to experience right here on Disney XD.